is thumbs up if it rhymes, thumbs down if it doesn't. All right, we have pack back. Say it, pack, pack back. back. My internet connection is unstable. <laughs> Does that rhyme? Thumbs up? Yes. Thumbs down. Pack back. Pack back. How about set and rock? Set rock. Set rock. Set rock. Nah. Where's Amaya? I need my Amaya. <laughs> Mrs. J is not. Can you hear me, Mrs. Raditz? I can. You're a little frozen. No. But I can hear you. Oh, you were moving. And there's Amaya. <laughs> okay, my whole screen's frozen, so I'll just keep going. Keep and going. If, you, if you can't. All right, Will Hill. You say it. Will, Will Hill. Hill. Rhyme? Yes, it rhymes. How about less and bun? Less bun. Does that rhyme, Mrs. Raditz? Nope. I oh, I was putting my finger down. You must. You can't see me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> You're frozen. Everybody's frozen. I Sorry, can't see I'll anything. Talk. <laughs> okay. Best. That's okay. Best nest. Best nest. Yes. Yes, and last one, run, hop. Run, hop. Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, okay, so since I'm frozen, I can't do the whole like cards and, and uh, sentence thing, so we'll just keep moving on. All right, what's the first sound you hear in the word paint? Say this ain't this word paint. again. Paint. Paint. How about table? T -t -t -t. Table. T -t -t. <laughs> Winner. Wah, wah, wah. Winner. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> King. K -k -k. King. <laughs> K -k -k. And zebra. Z -z. Z -z. Zebra. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Let's do some syllables. Are we going to be able to do that? Yeah. Just go <laughs> slow so I can hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Get your hands ready, Cal boys and girls. You calculator. Oh, man. Really? Calculator. 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 Yep. Four. You guys got to do it with us. You guys got to stop moving around. You're making me dizzy. How about, <laughs> how about pictures? <laughs> pictures. How many? Pictures. Two. About at least put your feet down. <laughs> You're going to fall. All right. <laughs> what about trash? Trash. Um, good job, Amaya. Thank you, Miles. Good job. Good job, Cartier. How about cubbies? Cubbies. How many? Cubbies. Good job, too. Good job, Honesty. And sharpener. Oh, geez. Sharpener. <laughs> sharpener. How many? Three. Good job. Good job, Good Cartier. Job. Or Carter, sorry. Friends. Cartier, you too. So you can't see my pictures, but today, today we have the letter O. Uh, and we have pictures that I will just we show you next time. We probably can't see, see your pictures because you're picture. moving on our screen. Can you see this? Yep, it's an octopus. Octopus! Yes. Very good. This is the word octopus. Oh. Let's spell it, Mrs. Raditz. O C T O P U S. Octopus. <laughs> that is the wrong word. Octopus. All right, this is a picture of a. 
olive. A green <laughs> olive. Green olive. Can you spell it, Mrs. Raditz? O L I V E. Olive. Good job, Mrs. Raditz. All right, what's the shape of this sign? Oh, it's an octagon. An octagon, the stop sign. All right, ready to spell? Octagon. <laughs> o C T. <laughs> A G O N octagon. Good job. Okay, we have a ostrich. Ostrich. Ready? O S T R I C H. I spelt it. Ostrich. Ostrich, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to change Adriana's name at the same time. I know, I can see you now. You're moving. Okay. An ox. An ox. ox. O X. Ox. And last one. An otter? Yes. <laughs> o T T E R. Otter. Very good, boys and girls. And I have a one minute, so I'm gonna write a sentence. Woo! I'm I am going to start the sentence. I letter like woo olives. Ooh. <laughs> I like blue. So how many olives. words do I have in my sentence? How many words? One, two. Three. I like olives. That's three. Very good. And this this is our site, our focus word we're working on. I, you will get to this one. L I K E like olives. Look at my big finger space in between the words and my punctuation. And of course, capital letter at the beginning. So let's all read it together. Ready? One, two, three. I, I like like. Olives. olives. Good job, boys and girls. You have to tell me when Mr. LaRose comes on if I don't see it. Got one minute. All right. <laughs> Is it a word? No, because we're not going to be able to do this. How about we just play Mrs. Raditz and they listen? Okay. Okay. Is it a word, a sentence, or a letter? Okay. Can you find it? A sentence. Why is it a sentence? Because it's Mr. multiple Reddit. words put together. Awesome. What about that? Just a that. word. Why is it a word? Because it's multiple letters put together to make one word. Very good. What about he? A word. What about I? Ooh, that one's he. tricky. Is it lowercase or uppercase? I believe it's uppercase. So then it could be a word or a letter. It could. There's Mr. LaRosa, last one. My toys are fun. It is a sentence because it is multiple words put together. Awesome. Good job today, boys and girls. I didn't think we were going to get through the letter O and then that was gonna mess me up because I would have been off my plan. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Mr. LaRosa, our friends are dressed up today, or at least some of them are for Halloween, just an FYI. <laughs> How exciting is that? That's pretty awesome. And I will mm -hmm. send you attendance when we are done. No problem. And I'm going to completely log off since I'm having such trouble. Maybe relogging on will be better. Okay. All good. Bye, Mr. LaRosa. Happy Halloween. Thank you, Ms. J. You, you the same. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, friends. Miss Raditz, how are you doing today? All right, and you? Good, it's Wednesday. Got to be doing good. Yep. Liam, we know you're Ant-Man, buddy. You got to keep muted, though. Remember, Mr. LaRosa's in charge now. All right, kindergarten, 
Welcome back. We are officially on week number nine of being back here at school already, which is pretty awesome. Thinking we already have a good chunk of our year gone, and I think it's gone by pretty quick. Also, we have Halloween coming up on Saturday, which is pretty cool too. I see some of you are already in costume. Some of you look like you're already eating candy. Some of you look like you need to eat some candy because you're sleeping. But anyway, <laughs> I'm happy that you guys are here. I'm happy that you're ready to do some gym and that you are at school and ready to learn. And I hope you're paying attention to your teachers and your parents or whoever you're living with and you're working hard trying to get smarter and trying to get uh, more understanding every every day and get better and better so remember keep on trying hard and no matter what we're doing so for today we are going to be doing some of our slides that means some of our exercises and remember when we're doing our exercises that first keep your microphone keep your video on try your best and watch out for things around you so we don't hit anything all right looks like i have some people in some cool costumes today i see ant-man i see some pj mask i see some princesses i see wow so all sorts of cool costumes a football player iron man wow all sorts of neat things so that's exciting so I hope you guys, yes, I see I see Ant-Man there too. That's cool. And I hope that you guys have a great Halloween. But before we get to all that Halloween stuff, I want to get to some exercise today because I'm sure you've all already started eating all that candy. So we want to start uh, getting some of that candy burned off. So let's start doing some exercises today. All right, let's get to exercise number one. Looking here at the screen. We're going to play our video for you. Remember, I'm going to show you a video first, and you're going to watch how to do it. After you see the video, then we're all going to try the video after, okay? So first, let's watch and see. Dance the pose. Raising up your arm and taking your other arm to the side like you're a waiter holding a tray. Now lifting up one of your legs and seeing if you can catch your foot in your hand. Start to kick your foot into your hand, standing strong in your standing leg, starting to tilt forward a little bit as you kick, kick, kick your leg. Now dance the pose is great for stretching the whole of the front of your body, opening your chest and your shoulders. It's also good for learning how to balance, especially if you're focusing on a little spot in front of you. It's also good for strengthening your legs and your ankles. Now let's try it on the other side, lowering all the way back down and turning around. All right, first question for you is everyone, could you hear her talking? Thumbs up if you could hear her talking. Thumbs up if you could hear her. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, good. I'm happy everyone hears that. All right, everyone. So now, we are going to be trying that exercise here for about 30 seconds. So let me show you this picture. First, you can see she's on one foot standing with her other foot up behind her. She has her hand out. Now this hand that's out here, you could put this hand maybe on a table or a chair or a desk or the wall or something that's not going to move to help you keep your balance. Now you don't have to grab your foot like she's doing. Maybe you just wanna have this leg straight out, but the important thing is that we're on one foot trying to balance. So we're gonna try this for 30 seconds, okay? All right, everyone, let's try our best. Ready, set, and go. <laughs> all right looking good good work kindergarten saw some good effort there nice job let's move on to number two 
Number two, this is called our deer pose. Now the deer pose is a stretch for our hip and for our lower back. Now it can be a little difficult to do because you might be a little confused on which way to turn. But again, remember the important thing is, is that we are trying our best with our stretching. So let's first watch the video so we know what to do. Deer pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms with our legs out long. We bend up one of our knees and we put our foot on the other side of our long leg. Now we stretch up through one of our arms, the same arm leg, and we take our other hand behind us for balance. We bring our elbow to the outside of our knee, sit up tall and stretch and see if we can twist to look over our shoulder like a deer. Okay, now in this picture here, you can see these two girls, they have their knee bent with their foot on the floor and the other leg is on the floor kind of straight. So the lady had her lady had her leg, excuse me, had her leg straight. These girls have their knee bent, but that's okay. The important thing is you have this leg right where I'm pointing. This is the knee that's bent and it's close to your body. You take your shoulder and you try to turn toward the bent knee. Notice how these girls are turning this shoulder toward their knee, the one that's by their chest. And when we do this, it's going to give you a stretch throughout your hip and throughout your lower back. So when the timer starts, I should see everyone with a foot on the ground, knee bent and turn that shoulder into the knee. Ready, set, and go. Good. I saw Carter, Adriana, and Miles all doing a great job on that stretch. Thank you, boys and girls, for trying that one. Let's move forward on to our next one. Next, we have the dog pose. All right, this one should be a little bit easier for you. Let's first watch the video, then I'll give you a couple tips. Dog pose. <clears throat> Coming down onto our hands and our knees, we spread our fingers wide, tuck our toes, and press our hips up to the sky. Yes! Now look, there's a friend. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Now dogs always like to wag their tails when they're pleased to see you. So let's try that now. We reach up with one of our legs and we give it a wag. Waggle, waggle, waggle. Very good. Lowering it back down. Good. Now you can see from this picture, lady has two hands on the floor. She has one foot on the floor and then she's lifting up that opposite leg. That means one leg is up in the air, almost like it's making a straight line with her back. She has, again, two hands down, one foot down, and then lifts up the other leg. Now in the video, she was taking her foot and kind of kicking it. She was calling it wagging it at the dog, which was fine. If you want to kick and wag your leg, you can wag your leg. If you just want to hold your leg straight, go ahead and hold your leg straight like the picture is doing. So take your pick this time, but I want to see everyone on two hands, one foot and one leg in the air. Let's give it a try here. 30 seconds for dog pose. Ready, set, begin. There you go, nice job everyone. Saw a lot of good dog poses that time. That's not always easy to balance like that, but good try.
Remember, we keep on working hard, keep trying our best, no matter what we're doing. Here we go, number four, this one is called the door pose. Now with the door pose, this one is also a stretch for our hip and also a stretch for the back of our leg, which is called the hamstring. There's a big muscle there. That's important to stretch out. So let's first see how this is done. Video first. Door pose. Coming down onto two knees, we take our leg to the side. We reach our arm up to the sky and rest our other hand on our long leg. Now we lean over to the side to creak open the door. Here we go. E <laughs> All right, good. Now, in this video, she showed you her door pose, which involved her kneeling on one knee. It has her opposite leg stretched out with her foot flat on the floor. So you can see she's not sitting. She's not on her bottom. She has a knee down and she has a leg stretched out. Then after she has her lower body ready, one arm up over the head, and she leans that hand toward the foot. That means this hand is pointing toward this foot. That means your body is leaning that way. And that's how we feel the stretch throughout our upper back and shoulder, throughout the side of our stomach muscles, a little bit in the hip. And you're gonna feel a stretch here in this long muscle behind the leg called the hamstring. So, when we do this, I shouldn't see anybody on their bottom. One knee, foot out, and then lean over. And if you'd like to, you can always go back and do the other side if you want, but that's up to you. Important thing is that we're getting this position here correctly. All right, door pose for 30 seconds. Ready, set, begin. <laughs> Nice work. Saw a lot of good door poses that time. Ooh, Amaya, I like your ladybug costume. That's very pretty. Awesome. Okay, let's move forward on to our next exercise. This is called the dragonfly pose. Now, the dragonfly, I'll tell you right now, is pretty hard to do. Even I have a hard time doing the dragonfly pose. It requires a lot of flexibility in your hip and a little bit of strength in your leg to be able to do it. So let's first watch our video and then we'll give it a try. Dragonfly pose. Coming down to lie on our tummies. We bring our hands underneath our shoulders and we lift up one of our feet. We point our toe to the sky and we use our other foot to scooch underneath our thigh, just above our knee to lift it even higher. All right, now that was kind of a quick video. So let me explain this again and show you. If you look, she's laying down on her chest and on her stomach. She has to lean her body forward so this part of her leg here, through her hip and her knee, can kind of come up into the air. And then she's going to slide her other knee behind her, try to put her foot underneath this leg and under the extended knee, trying to push up this foot into the air. So you got to get on your chest, you got to lean forward, you have to lift up the leg and then try to scoot this foot underneath this leg and push up hard onto that knee, which is not easy to do. But important thing, to try and just do your best. Let's try it for 30 seconds. Again, this is called our dragonfly pose. All right, good luck, everyone. Ready, set, begin. Bye. <laughs> 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 
All right. Now that was definitely a tough one to do. So thank you for trying people that did. You know, when we have hard things like that, I know it might look kind of scary, but still remember, just give it a shot. Okay, let's move on to our next exercise, which is called our eagle pose. This one should be a lot easier for you. We're going to be on one foot trying to hold a balance. Let's first watch how this one is done. Eagle pose. Bringing our feet together, we bend our knees. Now see if we can lift. Whoops, I'm sorry, let's go back to that. Eagle pose. Bringing our feet together, we bend our knees. Now see if you can lift up one of your feet, or try not to wobble, and cross your leg over the other, using your toes to balance on the floor next to your foot. Now take your arms nice and wide, and scissor your arms. Wave with your underneath arm, and twizzle your arms round each other, sitting down a little bit further, like you're a proud eagle sitting in your nest. Okay, now in the video, she showed crossing these legs and having two feet on the ground. Now you can do it that way, or you can try doing it like this lady's doing, where she has her leg wrapped around her other leg and she's on one foot. So if it's too hard, put two feet down. If you want a little more of a challenge, wrap this leg around and only have one foot on the ground. Then she is taking her elbows, one on top of the other, putting her hands, oh boy, hands together, elbows together like that, and then trying to hold this in a straight line, which is not very easy to do. <clears throat> Again, if you need some help, put the second foot down on the floor. If not, let's try to balance here on one foot for 30 seconds doing our eagle pose. Ready, set, and begin. Nice work, kindergarten. Good job on those eagle poses, looking good. Moving forward to our next exercise. What's this one? We have the fish. All right, the fish. The fish reminds me of kind of being at the beach and laying down in the sand trying to get a tan. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Let's watch our video first. Fish pose. Coming down to sit on our bottoms, pointing our toes in front of us. We drop down onto our elbows and then we pop, 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 pop our chest to the sky, maybe looking all the way up to the sky and maybe back behind us. Okay, now in that video, you saw she was sitting down with her legs straight behind her and then she was arching her back, looking behind her, her head position. Now, the important thing with our fish pose is that you do not lay down on your back. A lot of kindergartners in first grade, even second grade, they all lay down on their back. Okay, that's not how we do this one. If you notice here, this lady has her elbows. That's this part right here. Okay, your elbow are on the floor. Both elbows are on the floor behind you. So you have to take those arms and push your elbows behind your back and then lean back onto those elbows. So you're balancing and holding your body up with your elbows, not your back. We're not laying down flat. Then after you have your elbows down, we're going to lift up our tummy put our chin back and kind of relax like you're trying to get a tan at the beach. So when we do this one, elbows behind you, elbows on the floor, arch your stomach, arch your neck, lean back, and try to get a nice stretch in through your stomach and through your upper body. Let's give this a try here for 30 seconds. This is our fish pose. Ready, set, and begin. 
All right, kindergarten, good try on that one. Come on back up to your tablet so we can continue forward. Good, hopefully you felt a nice little stretch there throughout your tummy. All right, ooh, I like this one. Next one here, this one is called our flamingo pose. Now the flamingo pose is a great exercise to do because it helps us strengthen our legs and helps also keep our balance. So, Let's watch the video, then I'll give you a few tips on our flamingo. Flamingo pose. Reaching up with one of your arms to make a little flamingo's neck. Now holding onto your foot, trying not to wobble, and drawing your foot towards your bottom to get a nice stretch. Now let's be proud flamingos and do a little hop. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! Very good, everyone. All right, a couple things here about our flamingo pose. First, You'll notice she is standing on one leg. Flamingos have very skinny, thin legs, and sometimes they stand on one leg. Then she has her arm up in the air, extended up, and she's doing this to try to pretend like it's the flamingo's neck. Then she's going to bend her other knee. She's gonna hold her foot, and she was going to hop on the leg that's on the ground. Did you guys know that when flamingos are young, that they're mostly white in color? They're not pink. Flamingos are not born pink, this pretty pink color. When flamingos eat certain types of food, it changes the color of their feathers and they become pink over time. But if you ever see a real young one or baby ones or little smaller versions of flamingos, they are mostly white feathered and they only have a couple pink feathers. But after they grow and eat more, they start to develop this beautiful pink color. So just a little point there about some flamingos for you. If you ever see one, they're not always all pink. But again, with our exercise here, one foot down, hold the other foot, make that long flamingo neck, and then we're going to try to hop on one foot. Now, when you are hopping, please don't jump into a, you know, the wall or a TV or a couch or a table. Try to keep yourself in a screen when you are jumping. If hopping up and down is too difficult for you, just hold this flamingo position. But if you'd like to try hop, go for it. All right, everyone, let's give this a try. This is our flamingo pose. Ready, set, begin. There you go, kindergarten, good job. I saw some people holding their flamingo position. I saw some other flamingos hopping all through their kitchen. So nice job on that. Let's do, yeah, oh yeah, we have time for another one today. Let's see, we are going to do our shark pose next. Now the shark pose is a nice easy one, I think. Uh, when we do this one, remember we're gonna try to get our chest off the floor and kind of go side to side. It's not what she's showing you here. We're gonna watch the video first so you know how to do this. Shark pose. Coming to lie on our tummies, we crisscross our fingers behind our backs and lift up our arms like we're lifting up our shark's fin and gliding through the water. All right, now you can see in this picture, this might help you a little bit on what this looks like but you're laying down on your stomach with your feet together. 
hands behind your back and he has his fingers crisscrossed. Notice how he has his chest up and his head up. He's not taking a nap on the floor. He has his chest up nice and high. His head is looking forward, arms are behind him. And remember, she said that this is kind of like making your shark fin here by having your hands up. Then you notice she was moving side to side or kind of rolling over the side of her rib and kind of moving her shoulders to help her turn. So you might have to use your, your stomach muscles to help turn you, maybe your hips a little bit to get your body to kind of pretend like you're swimming like a shark through the water. So I want you to try this for 30 seconds. Again, this is our shark pose. This is gonna be our last one for today. So I'd like everyone to give me their best effort and to try your best, please. All right, everyone on your stomach, see if you can get those hands behind you, lift up that chest, and let's see some sharks swimming in the sea. Ready, set, begin. All right, kindergarten, come on back to your tablet, please. Now with that last one, I didn't have as many people doing that one that time. I'm not sure why we all weren't doing it, but to the people that were, thank you for trying. I know that one might be a little silly looking, but it's a great stretch for our back and for our stomach. So that's one of the reasons why we do that one. Okay, now before you guys go for today, I just wanna remind you that um, anyone that <clears throat> is going out trick-or-treating, please remember to be safe. Please remember, um, do not go inside anyone's house that tries to give you candy inside the house. Make sure if you have any candy that's unwrapped, you do not eat that kind of candy. Try to stay with your group. If you are with um, people that you're going trick-or-treating with, don't go by yourself and do your own thing. And I want you guys to have a good Halloween break, but I also want you to be safe because, of course, we all want to see you back here on Monday. We want to see you be safe and make good choices and uh, to be taken care of. So have a great holiday for a little break here, and I hope to see everyone back next week. All right, everyone, have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye, Mr. LaRosa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Boys Bye, and Ms. girls, Not I want to remind Wednesday. you, your video should be on, and you should be doing gym with Mr. LaRosa. <laughs> Some of you were not doing your job, and I have that written down. So if your video is not on, you we don't know that you're doing your work. Dakari and Rocky, please turn your video on. You guys shouldn't have been playing with your masks. You guys needed to be doing your job because that's what you are doing right now is gym class. You guys are at school. It's just in your living room or your bedroom or your dining room, wherever your workspace is. So Cartier, come back to the spot, please. Gym time is all done. Cartier. I'm trying to restart his me his screen, but I can't get it. Oh, um, if you log out, maybe log back in. He kept turning it on and off, so I don't know if it got stuck. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, something's going on on our end. Oh, the district? For sure, because Chad was... I don't know. I mean, Jessica Mr. texted me something about somebody freezing. And I can't see anybody. Mr. LaRosa was at his house. So I've been able to see you yeah. the whole time, but you might not be able to see us, but they are all here I back can see you. in <laughs> live. So, all right, well, we're going to start with a song while people are joining. So hopefully that'll work out. Sounds good. I want to hear some singing. Actually, I won't hear any singing because you're all muted. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. I want I want to see some mouths moving that you're counting and seeing. Who wants to help me with the 100s chart today? Mrs. Radis, I can't see anybody, so you'll have okay. to pick. Sorry. Sorry. I was sending Mr. LaRosa the attendance. <laughs> um, no problem. Carter. Awesome. Unmute yourself, honey. Hold on, I move you out of the way. <laughs> All right. All right, Carter, you ready? Yes. Okay, count, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Take a deep breath. Carter's counting so I can hear him. I hope everybody else is counting too. Okay, I should here's see your Carter. lips moving. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job, buddy. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Hold on. <laughs> you guys are over it. All right, there we go. Okay, Carter. What's this right here? 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So what's gonna go right here? 41. Awesome. That was kind of like a little assessment there. Mr. Carter knows how to count. I'm so proud of you. What two numbers are in 41, Carter? 42. No, what two numbers are these? A four and a? One. Good job. Kiss your brain. I'm so proud of you. Awesome job. OK, you can mute yourself back, buddy. All right, so today for math, we have a fun counting game. This is in Google Classroom for you guys to do if you want to. You don't have to. Everybody has their own. So it's really up to oh, your time cute. and what you guys choose to do. Isn't it cute? 
All right, who knows goes? Who wants to help me with this first slide? Rocky, honey, please stop unmuting yourself. Thank you. Um, let's see. I'm trying to pick someone who hasn't had a turn today. Um, honesty. Miles, you have to keep you have on to the keep screen where I can see you. Then I'll know that you want to turn. Honesty, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, what number is this, Honesty? Five. Five. So can you count five witches hats for me to put in the box? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. One, two, three. Yeah, count slower. Hold on. This is not that fast. <laughs> One, two, three. Four, five. Good job. Is that good? Are we done? Good job, honesty. Okay, you can mute yourself. Is there another friend who would like to help? Some nose goes if you want to help. All right, Miles. Same number. All right, Miles, hold on. I got to get a different one. All right, what number is this, Miles? Four. Okay, help, help me count the bottles of po the bottles full of potions. Right. One, two, three, four. Am I done? Or do I yeah. need another one? Yes, I'm sorry, I asked you two questions. I'm done. Yeah. One, Miles. Two, three, four. Thank you, Miles. You can mute yourselves. Okay, yourself, I mean. You're not two people. Is there another friend who wants to help me count this one? Nose goes, Nina. One. One, okay. Oh, I heard you. Help me get one over there. One. Is that it? Are we done or do I need another one? Done. Done. Okay, thank you, Nina. All right, who wants to do this one with the black cats? Ooh, let's see. Honesty, did you have a turn already? Mm hmm Okay, Amaya, sorry. <laughs> Everybody keeps moving around. Okay, Maya, what number is this? Two. Two. Count me count the cats. Ready? One. You almost can't see them. Two. Do I need another one or am I done? done? I'm done. Thank you. Good job. All right. Who wants to help me count this one with the bats? Nose goes, Cartier. What number is this, Cartier? Yeah, number three. Number three. Okay, help me count that's over. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Do I need any more or am I done? Yeah. Done. Thank you. Good counting. All right. How about this one? Who nose wants to goes. do this one with me? Nose goes. Rocky, are you doing nose goes? Candy, yummy. I can't see your face, so I don't know if you're doing nose goes. Avon Elise? No. Adriana? Are you ready, Adriana? What number is this? Six. All right, help me count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Six. Am I done or do I need more? Six. 
Okay. Thank you, Adriana. Good job, sweetie. Okay, we'll do one more. Nose goes. It's everybody that's already had, or Alex, are you holding up your hand to have a turn, honey? You wanna have a turn? Yes or no? Yes? Okay, unmute yourself, okay. honey. There you go, good job. What number is this, Alex? What number is I it? I can't hear you, what'd you say? Seven. Good, thank yeah. you, much better. Okay, you're gonna count, count the pumpkins for me? Yeah. Ready? Okay. One. Two, three, four, four, four <laughs> five, six, seven. Good, Good job. Down. Am I done? Did I do seven? Yeah. Excellent, thank you, Alex. All right, Mrs. Raditz, I have a really tricky question for all my friends. Ooh. Nose goes, if you know what this is. What is this thing called with all these squares in it? Does anybody remember what this is called? What is the orange box thing called? Um, honesty? Tap your screen, honey, and click on the mic. There you go. What is that called? Um, I think. You forgot? Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna, we can figure it out together, honestly. Let's count the squares, okay? Count the squares for me. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five. Six. You're counting. Seven. Seven. Eight. 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 Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Very good. Does anybody remember what that, that that is called a 10 frame? If you remember that that is called a 10 frame, give me spear fingers. Spear fingers. Spear fingers. I knew you would know that, Liam. Good job, you guys. That's from the beginning of the year when we were still just doing videos. So not all of you guys got to watch the videos probably, but that is called a 10 frame. And we're going to be using that soon in math a lot. Yes, we use that a lot. And it's a good way to help you count because you know that that is always 10. And when there's something inside of it, you can do addition with it. You can do how many is missing, how many is left, how many more. So lots of reasons to use a 10 frame. A lot of fun. How are you guys doing? Are you tired? Mrs. Raditz is. <laughs> I know, I know. Should we do one more uh, movement? Yes. Do you have one, Mrs. Raditz? I can get one really quick. Fantastic. I just clicked, I just clicked the wrong button. So give me- Cartier, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't break that, sweetheart. <laughs> You're so cute. Uh, you guys are so cute. Carter, it's so good to see you today. Did you have fun at school with us? Good. I have fun seeing you. And you're a good counter. Your mom said you were smart. Ooh, this one's kind of fun. Let me gotta pause it first though. <laughs> what is that? Is that a straw, Cartier? A <laughs> metal straw? We'll be careful. <laughs> yes. Don't, Don't get put that. it in your nose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Mrs. J. Oh, Not mind giving them a giving them an option. <laughs> or a thought, putting the thought there. 
Well, <laughs> they'll be ready for a test if they need a test. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ooh, this is what I was talking about with that one word, but oh, it's right at. They like home, man, we want to go home. Mr. Pally, Mr. Pally. Pally. Yeah. Hello? I can't hear anything. Did I not click the right button? I can't hear either, but I thought it was just me because I'm really having oh, a problem. Oh, no, it could be me. <laughs> no, nope, it was me. Thanks, Liam. Yep, thank you for interrupting because I it's loud on my end, so. All right, friends. We'll go back. I mean, there are people dancing, though, so I just thought they heard it. They like, go, mommy, one go home. They like, go, mommy, one go home. Mr. Pali. <laughs> oh, it's nap time. It was fun. Yes, boys and girls. So we are watching Coco at 10 40. No, no. no. <laughs> 11 45. So you're going to come back early. That means you want to have a quiet break, eat. And then come back on at 11.45. You could be comfy, you know, have a nice blanket and stuffed animals sitting on your couch because it's just relaxing watching a movie, okay? Remember, it's something that we cannot record, so it will not be posted on Dojo. I'll post a reminder to get ready to log on at 11.45. What, Carter? When do we have to get back on? At 11.45. Okay, buddy? Yeah. One, one, four, five. So I will post it about five minutes beforehand, a reminder to log in if you want to watch it with us. Otherwise, you have lots of work you can get done on the pizza. Miles, please wait until the end if you have questions. Okay, bud? So otherwise, you guys, we will see you at 1145. If we don't see you for the movie, that's the end of our day. We're going to watch that movie and then we won't see you until next week, Wednesday. So you have so Thursday, long. Friday, Saturday, which is Halloween, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off. So you have six whole days of no school, no getting up really early unless your parents make you. I saw a few hoorays, huh? <laughs> so 
We might see you at your conference with your adults. If we don't see you, we understand because it's a, mostly for adults to talk about. It's for Mrs. J and I to talk to your moms and dads about what you're doing in class or what you're not doing in class, about your work and how um, report cards look. And because we're still staying virtual, there's more expectations for second quarter. So you guys have to get going on doing seesaw work and posting your work. Okie dokie. So we will see you at 1145. It's 1145. You can be in your bed, you can be on your couch, you can be on the floor. If you have brothers and sisters that want to watch, they can snuggle up next to your um, tablet or However you want to get on to Zoom, you can be on whatever. I'm going to share my screen with my TV screen so that it's not so crazy on my computer. So, but all right, friends, we will see you in a little bit. Have a good break. Good lunch. Have a good lunch. Lunch. It's time for lunch. Lunch. Eat a bunch. It's time for lunch, not brunch. <laughs> Bye.